All right, let's practice estimating sums with numbers up to 1,000. Okay, so our first question says to round the following numbers to the nearest 10 and then add them together. This is very, very important that we follow these directions. You always want to make sure that you round first and then add. Okay, that is the correct process. You don't add and then round. Okay, so if I round 33 to the nearest 10, meaning 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on, what is it closest to? Does 30 round to, does 33 round to 30 or to 40? It rounds to 30. Okay, and how about 90? Does 90, how about 91? Does 91 round to 90 or does it round to 100? It rounds to 90. Then I can add, okay? I know 0 plus 0 is 0. And then I can do 3 plus 9 is 12. So my estimate is 120. Okay, next one. Again, we're rounding, then adding, okay? What does 17 round to to the nearest 10? It's 20. It's closest to 20, okay? And how about 10? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 10 is a 10, so we can leave 10 alone. So what is 20 plus 10? 20 plus 10 equals 30, so my estimate is 30. Okay, next up we have 85 and 64. All right, again, we're rounding to the nearest 10. What does 85 round to? It rounds to 90. Okay, this five tells me to bump it up to 90. How about 64? Does it go down to 60 or up to 70? 60. So now we can add, okay, zero plus zero is zero. Nine plus six is 15. So that means my estimate is 150. All right, again, rounding to the nearest 10. What does 11 round to? That rounds to 10, it's only one away from it. How about 71? What multiple of 10 does it round to? It rounds to 70, it's really close to 70. Okay, now we can add, what is 10 plus 70? That equals 80. Nice job, so my estimate here is 80. All right, let's round these numbers. We have 56. What is 56 round to? Is it round to 50 or 60? Rounds up to 60. How about 26? Does that round to 20 or 30? 30, because it's closer to 30. All right, now I can add. Zero plus zero is zero. And six plus three equals nine. So 60 plus 30 equals 90. 90 is my estimate. All right, let's do this one. We're still rounding to the nearest 10. What does 93 round to? Does it round to 90 or 100? It rounds down to 90. How about 13? Is that closer to 10 or 20? It's 10. So what's 90 plus 10 more? Zero plus zero is zero. Nine plus one is 10. So our estimate is 100. Okay, next one. Still rounding to the nearest 10. What does 26 round to? 30. It would either be 20 or 30, and it's 30 because 26 is closer to 30. How about 43? Would that round to 40 or 50? 40. It rounds down to 40. 
So if I add 30 plus 40, what is my answer? That equals 70. 70 is my estimate. Okay, let's round this one. We have 36. What is 36 round to? That rounds up to 40. It's closer to 40 than it is 30. How about 64? 64 rounds down to 60. That's closer to 60 than it is 70. So then I add it up. 0 plus 0 is 0. And 4 plus 6 equals 10. So my estimate is 100. All right, this time, still rounding to the nearest 10. All right, 13. What does 13 round to? That rounds to 10. Awesome. Okay, how about 98? Does 98 round down to 90 or up to 100? It's really close to 100, so it rounds up to 100. So if I have 100 and I add 10 more to it, it is 110. So my estimate is 110. One more. Okay, let's round 10 plus 86. What do we know about 10? 10 is already a multiple of 10, so we leave them alone. Okay, how about 86? Does 86 round down to 80 or up to 90? It's closer to 90. So there we go. So what is 10 plus 90? Or work backwards, what's 90 plus 10? It is 100. So my estimate is 100. Awesome job doing the skill today.